Hi guys, welcome back. I'm so sorry it's taken me this long to actually sit down and do this tutorial. I know I've been promising to do it for, well, since lockdown began in January and it's now almost the end of February. But um, I explained a little bit on my Instagram stories. I was just feeling really unmotivated and, and then I've been ill, but I'm feeling a lot better now. And I don't know, I was just, anxious to do something creative and you all know I love makeup and I've also managed to accumulate more makeup <laughs> which will be no surprise to anyone um, and I just wanted to share it with you and put some makeup on feel better and I do think that putting on makeup improves your mood it definitely does with me so I hope that you enjoy this so video. I've just cleansed my skin um, and I'm now just gonna go over my skin with the Clinique Clarifying Lotion. This is number two. You guys know I swear by this product. It's an exfoliator, it brightens the skin, removes any impurities you might have missed. Now during lockdown, I've really revamped my skincare routine. I've been using a new serum, um, and that is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. Because it's quite pricey, I only use it at night before bed. I don't use it twice a day, otherwise I would run out very quickly. I've also been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I love. Again, very pricey, but I use it sparingly. Um, but today, I'm gonna be using an old favorite, which is the Le Creme Concentrate from Ombre Elise. Um, it's just a really nice cream. It doesn't have any SPF in it, so bear that in mind. You might need to apply one before, or if it's in your foundation, over the top. Right, for foundation, I've not been using foundation, I've been using a tinted moisturiser and that is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in shade Vanilla. I actually did a review on this a couple of years ago and I'll link that below. It's my favourite go-to all year round, but especially in winter when my skin's really dry. Um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful tinted moisturiser. And it also has SPF 30, which you can't beat. I mean, that's just brilliant for day to day. So so you can apply this with a brush, but I think it works a ton better with your fingers. You don't need a lot, that much. And just apply it. I start in the center of my face and work out. Now for concealer. Um, I've struggled to find a concealer that's as good as this one. It's the Clarins Instant Concealer and this is in shade 01. The only downside with this is it's not available in many shades, which really lets it down. Um, but it's brilliant for under the eyes. I tend to use it all over wherever I need it, but definitely under the eyes because it has a lot of light reflex in it, which bounces light out from under the eyes so it helps with dark circles, things like that and literally you need only the tiniest amount, that much, and you'll see it goes such a long way. So I just get it on my finger and just apply it under the eyes and tap. There we go, and the other eye. Whatever's left over on your hand is then perfect for just anywhere else. Maybe you've got a bit of redness. I like to pop it sort of in that crease of my nose. I don't know why I tend to get redness there. I think everybody does. And anywhere else, I've just got a little bit of redness just on my chin, not much. So I am going to set it just so that it doesn't move, but if you've got very dry skin you might find you don't even need to do that. So I'm taking my setting brush from Real Techniques, absolute gem of a brush this one. If you don't have one this is brilliant for concealer, setting powder, highlighter, it's so multifunctional. So get some on my brush, tap off the excess, and then I just like to pat wherever I wanna set that concealer. So everywhere that I applied it really. I also take it into my smile lines. 
so that it doesn't crease. And between my eyes, I always find that between my eyes tends to get a little bit shiny. Ooh, it's a little bit warm for that cardigan. Right, moving on to bronzer. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palette. This is the one that has the four different um, powders in it, if you will. So you've got the bronzer, the blush, a multi-glow, which I tend to use as a, a blush, and a highlight. So we're going to go in with the bronzer first, taking it on a nice big fluffy brush. Right, now for highlighter and blush. Um, I'm gonna go very natural today, which I very rarely do, especially with highlighter. But I think on Zoom especially, because that's what we get dressed up for nowadays, isn't it? Um, I think natural is much nicer and it gives you this really nice light diffused look. So I'm gonna use the Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a fabulous product. I've got shade number two. You can use this on its own. You can use it under your foundation. I'm gonna use it over the top. I'm gonna use it as a highlighter, but if you wanted an extra glow under your eyes or something like that, you can put it pretty much anywhere. It's such a wonderful product. Comes with a fabulous applicator too, like this. So I'm just literally gonna dot it where I would like my highlighter. So tops of my cheekbones, bridge of the nose, a little bit here on the cupid's bow, and maybe just at the, over the top of the eyebrows as well. And then just tap it out with your fingers. You can use a brush, but I think fingers does a much better job. You can see just how natural that is. It's really, really pretty. And she just came out with more shades as well. So just on my Cupid's bow, I think I want a little bit more of a sort of light reflecting. So I'm gonna use the highlighter from this quad and just on my finger, just gonna pop that on there. This will give you the illusion of a bigger pout. So use as much as you want. I'm just gonna put a little bit as well on the bridge of my nose too. For blush, I'm gonna keep it natural. So I'm gonna use the light wand in, is it the light wand? Beauty light wand, glowgasm in peachgasm. This was actually recommended to me by a very good makeup artist um, called Lee, and she uses it on brides, and it was one of her ride or die products. And it definitely gives you that really beautiful ethereal glow. Um, so if you want something with higher color payoff, you might not like this, but if you're looking for maybe something that's multifunctional, because you could definitely use this as a highlighter, it's perfect. So it has like a sponge applicator, click it to open, and then just squeeze the tube, which releases product. And I've just released way too much. So just using my finger, I'm just gonna pat that onto my cheeks. For my brows, I'm just gonna use a powder and I'm using this brush by Spectrum. This is just the AO4 brush. So it has a spoolie on the end, which I'm gonna use just to brush through my brows. Now, I'm just gonna brush down just to sort of reveal where I want to place the powder. Just gonna apply it where there are any gaps. I don't know if this is how you meant to do your brows. I just kind of do, do what I think. Um, Cause I don't think I need a ton of, of product. My brows are fairly full. Um, they definitely need shaping though, my goodness. 
so many things. The minute lockdown's lifted, I need a haircut and I need my brows sorting. But hey, we're all in the same boat. As you can see, it doesn't make a huge difference, um, but it definitely frames your face a little bit more. I think it's worth it anyway. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm not using a primer because I did sort of sweep a little bit of my concealer over my eyelid, which will do the trick just fine. I'm gonna go in with a nice pale reflective color for the inner corner. I'm using Virgin, which is an Urban Decay color. Actually from the original Naked palette, which I know you can't buy anymore, but the colours that I'm using are fairly standard. You should be able to find them anywhere. I'm now going in with Naked, which is a really soft brown colour. Just show it to you. This one here. And I'm popping that in my crease. So Windscreep... Windscreep? <laughs> what is it called? Windscreen Wiper Motions. Oh my word, that was a... A mouthful. So at the outside corner I'm sort of sweeping it out rather than sort of keeping it tight. I'm allowing it to sort of feather outwards just to give me the illusion of bigger eyes as it were. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush. This is by Sigma E40. The E40 brush and I'm just really blending that out no harsh lines, no harsh edges. Keeping it really natural. That's it for that colour. I'm now going to go in with a darker shade and I'm going to use Smog, which is this colour right here. I would say it's like a real bronze colour. And I'm actually going to pick that up on my fingers because I find when you apply shadow with your fingers, it has a much better colour payoff um, and there's much less fallout than when you use a brush. So just lightly rub your fingertip into the colour and then just pat it on. And then just taking the brush that you used for the soft brown shade, so I can't even tell you what this is, I think it's an E25 just start to blend out that colour in the crease. We're not going to be taking this one as far out as we did our transition shade, but just feather it out at the outer corner so that it blends nice and seamlessly. And then taking the fluffy brush, again, just go over that a second time. Now, taking a smaller brush, I'm using this one. It's like a little pen, well, not a pencil brush. It's sort of flat on one side. I'm going to pick up that same colour, Smog, and apply that on my bottom lash line. Next up, I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner in the shade Pillow Talk. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a maroon um, reddish purple colour, which I think works brilliantly for brown eyes, green eyes. It's very, very workable for any eye colour, but I think it really makes this look pop just putting it on the inner rim of the eye. So I use it on top and bottom. We are nearly finished. I'm just, we're nearly finished with this look. I'm just gonna apply some mascara and I'm gonna curl my lashes first. These are just Tweezerman eyelash curlers. And then I'm using the Lancome Mr. Big mascara. Now, I think that look is very nice and I think um, I could leave it there, but I'm not going to. 
and that's because um, I have this lovely jewel pot from Charlotte Tilbury. I had no idea what this product was. When it was released, I thought it was a cream eyeshadow or something. Um, then I got gifted it by an, uh, my, my lovely friend who knows I love Charlotte Tilbury. She gave it to me and I love it. Now, it is a powder and it's incredibly glittery, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is on my little finger because I don't want this to be going everywhere. I'm gonna pick some up on my finger and just tap it onto my lid. I wouldn't use a brush with this because I think it would go everywhere. There we go. I don't know if you, it makes a ton of difference on camera, but I really like it. I think it looks very pretty. So you could finish this look off a hundred different ways with whatever you decide to put on your lips. Um, I think a nude would look really nice, um, a nice soft pink. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a little bit of a mix of everything. So I have three products, a lip liner, a lipstick and a gloss. All Charlotte Tilbury, of course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lip liner. This is the Pillow Talk lip liner. This is a brilliant lip liner to have because it goes with so many different colors. Now I'm gonna apply my lipstick. Like I said, it's the Secret Salma lipstick. That I've used a hundred times on my channel. It's definitely my favourite lipstick. Now, do I apply a gloss as well? I think I'm going to leave it actually. I think with the eyes being glittery, I think to put a gloss as well, it's kind of spoiling the balance, so I'm not going to. However, I still highly recommend it. It's the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath gloss from Charlotte Tilbury and it's really lovely. Really lovely on its own, over the top of lipsticks, whatever you want, it's just a really nice gloss. Okay, that completes this look. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it. I'm so happy that I can finally say that I did it. Um, I've been wanting to do it for so long and like I say, one thing and another just got in the way. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And also you can visit my Instagram account, which is beautifulyou underscore UK. Um, I'm actually a trained nail technician, so there's plenty of pictures of different nail designs etc on there but I also tend to talk a lot on my stories about different things and I'll also post a link to this video there as well. I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye!